1939, the Royal Navy began the eight ships of the 1,773-ton N-Class as follow-ons to the J's and K's. Though none were technically operated by the Royal Navy, in the event, they mostly served as part of the Royal Navy. Five were crewed by the Australians, which was part of the British Empire. One was transferred to the Free Polish Navy, and two were sold to the Netherlands in March 1941 while under construction. Design-wise, they were essentially a scaled-down version of the Tribals, but an improved version of the J's and K's. The main difference compared to the Tribals was the reduction from four to three gun mounts. In exchange, they were to have added a second torpedo mount and increased the number in each tube by one. Like the Tribals, though, their main guns were low angle, so while under construction, the rear torpedo bank was exchanged for a four-inch anti-aircraft guns. The Netherlands didn't like that, so reinstated the torpedo mount soon after completion instead relying on medium and light anti-aircraft. A protracted construction time meant they really didn't come into service until after the East Indies were overrun in February 1942. This was too bad, as they were pretty comparable to the Kallenberg class and a good match for the Japanese destroyers. Yes, 1v1, the Japanese ships had larger guns and larger torpedoes, but these guys were close. And had radar and better anti-aircraft. Van Galen was started July 10, 1939 and was completed February 11, 1942. Tajerk Hines was started May 22, 1940 and was completed May 6, 1942. Main armament was six British 4.7 inch 45 caliber guns in three twin open backed mounts. Two forward super firing with a third mount aft elevated on top of the rear superstructure. Rate of fire was 10 rounds per minute per gun with a muzzle velocity of 2,650 feet per second. Shell weight was 50 pounds. In theory, they were dual purpose, but with a maximum elevation of just 40 degrees, that was more wishful thinking than realistic. Maximum range was 17,000 yards. Torpedo armament was two quintuple mounts both on the center line at main deck level between the funnel and the aft superstructure. These used the British Mark 9 torpedo. Weight was 3,723 pounds. Warhead weight was 805 pounds. Range was 11,000 yards at 41 knots or 15,000 yards at 35 knots. Two depth charge launchers and a depth charge rack were fitted for 45 depth charges. Propulsion was provided by two boilers venting to one funnel. These provided steam to two turbines, each running a propeller, generating 40,000 horsepower for a top speed of 36 knots. They originally had Type 285 and 286 radars, along with Type 124 sonar. Joining the home fleet in April 1942, Van Galen escorted a convoy around South Africa where it joined the Eastern Fleet in July. In August, she sailed as part of the decoy force that attacked the East Indies, Operation Stab, to draw attention away from the Solomons. Hydes entered service in early June 1942 and in July through August escorted a convoy from England around Africa to the Middle East. Now together in September, they were with the Eastern Fleet as it covered the conquest of the rest of Madagascar heading to the Southwest Pacific afterward in October for convoy duty. In November 1942, Van Galen helped evacuate 950 people from Timor to Darwin. Afterward, they were escorting convoys from Fremantle to Sydney. In the middle of February 1943, they joined in escorting troop ships bringing Australian soldiers back home through the Indian Ocean. Afterward, They spent the rest of 1943 and the first quarter of 1944 escorting convoys around the Southwest Pacific. Between March and May 1944, they screened the Far East carriers as they raided the East Indies in Operations Diplomat. Unfortunately, on March 25, 1944, Hydes had to head back first to Sri Lanka, then to England with engine problems that would keep her out of the rest of the war. Van Galen, meanwhile, continued escorting Operations Cockpit and Transom. 
afterward returning to convoy escort through the Indian Ocean. In October 1944, she rejoined the Far East Fleet in launching attacks around the East Indies to decoy away from the Leyte landings. In November 1944, she returned to England for a refit and home water escort duties that would last for the rest of the war. She was finally decommissioned in 1957. Repaired after the war, Hydes was finally decommissioned in 1961.